Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to be showing you guys how you can start importing forms into your Qualtrics database so that basically if you have a currently existing Qualtrics survey formatted file, you basically then be able to import any forms that might be saved on your computer into your online database of on Qualtrics. Now, for those of you who might not know, a QSF file or a Qualtrics survey formatted file is basically the specific format in which Qualtrics tends to save all of their forms. The great thing about it is that it can act as a backup or a means of transferring a copy of your survey to another Qualtrics account so that if you were to import it into back into the Qualtrics database, it would actually appear as is without you actually having to edit anything. Now, the only issue with QSF files is that you would have needed to have created a form on Qualtrics already and then having you'd have had to export it after so that it's saved onto your computer. In a previous video, we showed you guys how to export it. If you want to find it, it should be on our playlist, but here we're just going to go over how to import it back into your Qualtrics account. So as you can see, we're just on the homepage right now. And what we're going to want to do is create a new project. Now, this is assuming that you currently don't want to change or edit or import your QSF file into a currently pre-existing survey already. Here, we're just going to be starting from scratch. So we're going to choose survey from scratch. We're going to hit get started. Then first things you're going to ask is for you to title your project. So we're going to say, we're going to title this one as how or customer feedback for, for bakery since we already went over the cafe and we're using our cafe template for the bakery. Okay, so instead of creating a blank survey project, if you hit this button, you'll see a drop down menu and on the second one, you should see import a QSF file. From here, you can just hit, hit choose file, go to downloads. Here we have the file already saved and then we're just gonna hit open. From here, you just have to make sure this is the file you want. So we're currently using the customer feedback for cafe here. But this time we're going to make a new file using the same questions in this cafe for our bakery. And then we're going to hit create project. If the file works perfectly, as you can see, this should look exactly the same as our cafe one, which it does. As for those of you who might have seen our previous videos would know, we have everything exactly down. And that's basically it on how it, you should be able to import a QSF file into your Qualtrics account, or in this case, import a, a form or survey back into your Qualtrics account. Now, let's say you don't have a QSF. Another option that Qualtrics provides is for you to basically import, let's say not really an entire form, but more so questions into your Qualtrics account or Qualtrics form that's already on the database from a TXT file. So. The only issue is this is that you're going to have to refer to a specific coda of formatting where different words and Q codes are used for specific types of questions, seeing as obviously if you want a text box question, this would look different from a multiple choice question. It gets pretty specific and from this you're really going to have to refer to a separate table but we're just going to show you the basics on how to get that txt file actually onto the form itself. So here I just have a txt file up with some questions here. As you can see, depending on what type of questions I'm making, the format kind of changes. In this case, this question is what a matrix question would look like versus let's say a multiple choice question would look like. Also, each question is indicated by a number. These are just also basic formatting guidelines to get into more specifics. We'll refer you to more links and blog articles to help you work on this, but this is just a very generic and very basic version of what a TXT file could look like if you were to import it into, let's say, your Qualtrics account. Okay, so as you can see, 
we already have the txt file down what we're going to want to do next is basically go to the designated file where we want to start importing the questions to so we're going to import it into our customer feedback for bakery even though the questions don't really match but this is just to show you guys how this works so first things first let's head over to the tools tab which should be somewhere on the upper left corner right below data and analysis it should also be beside the indicator where it says when your form was last saved so if you were to hit the tools tab as you can see if you head down you'll see the import and export option on this drop down menu and if you hover your mouse it should also open into another drop down menu now we're going to want to hit import survey which would then allow us to get that txt file onto this online form so let's just hit that and then we're going to want to choose a file so we're going to want to head over to desktop we're going to choose qsf qualtrics oh looks like i selected the wrong one sorry just, let's just do that again okay so we're going to use the here plain text document so this is the txt file if you were to open this as you can see this file is accepted so you just got to hit import And we're going to wait for it to refresh. And if you were to head all the way down, as you can see, our questions were imported as is. So we have the what is your group number? What is your name of the leader? Our matrix question also works perfectly, which is great. It got the x axis questions and the y axis questions down correctly. We even have the final block or page separation perfectly down. So that's just how you guys can start importing questions and full-on QSF files or forms back onto your Qualtrics account. Hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time!